There are a lot of components in making shoes and insoles is one of them. It's actually one of the most important details, inner parts of the shoes that connect almost all other parts of the shoe. We attach to the insole upper, we attach sole and heel. So this detail is important detail in making shoes. Here is a big problem. I see it a lot on YouTube where people use ready-made insoles. That can be a good idea only if you buy insoles specially made for your shoe last or if you buy shoe last together with the insoles. Why? Because insoles must match perfectly the shoe last bottom. Here is an example. This insole have same heel height that this shoe last has. But when I try to match it, when I try to place it, it doesn't match. You see here I have a big gap between insole and shoe last. And even if you will push very strong your upper during classing, will pull it strongly, you will not avoid this gap and it will stay in your finished shoes and it will be not comfortable. So your insoles must match perfectly the bottom of your shoe last. What I do in my work, and this is what I teach my students, is how to make insoles by themselves. Check from both sides. The on the First thing in making insoles is to make pattern of the insole. Yes, pattern making is the core of shoe making. And almost in making any shoe details, we need to have first the pattern of this detail. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to make correct pattern for the insole working with your shoe last. I made this video many years ago and I want to upgrade this video with my detailed explanation. So you will know how to make pattern of your insoles step by step. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. So to make pattern of the insole, we need to have masking tape, simple masking tape. The width of this masking tape is 5 cm. And we need to cover with masking tape the bottom of our shoe last. So cut long enough strap of masking tape and attach it to the bottom of your shoe last. This uh, first layer of the masking tape will be constructed of, from few straps of masking tape and to have stable, stable enough pattern, attach each layer of the masking tape in the distance of 1, 1.5 cm from the edge of the previous layer of the masking tape. When you will attach this masking tape straps, make sure to flat it well to avoid creation of folds. You may have folds especially in the curved parts of the mask of the shoe last, but you need to flat them working with the, your fingers or with a side edge of the knife. Okay, so cover entire surface of the shoe last bottom with masking tape along length. Then second layer of masking tape will be attached along the width of the, of the shoe last, okay? So attach few straps along width of the masking tape, along width of the shoe last, and attach straps of masking tape along width of the shoe last bottom. Also here, the mutual surface of two straps close to each other is one centimeter, 1.5 centimeters. Here it's important to attach your masking tape tightly to the surface of the shoe last, avoiding creation of folds. If you will have, if you will have folds, you can flatten them with the knife or with the pencil or with your finger. Okay. After you will attach 
masking tapes in these two directions along length of the shoeless bottom and then along width make sure to see the edge of the shoe last precisely by working with pencil or edge of the knife along edge of the shoe last bottom in the place where you have steel plate you can use the edge of the steel plate as a guideline to design the line of the shoe last bottom if you don't have steel plate you can use the feather feather edge of the shoe last to see it more clear draw the line with pencil so here when you have the steel plate the edge of the steel plate will be the edge of the shoe last and it will be the edge of the insole of course okay here in this place in the in the back try to create to draw very curved and smooth line after you will mark this line of the insole in the back part you can cut it out working with utility knife in the front part if you can't draw this line precisely work with this kind of tool that you can prepare by yourself when you can attach the rough sandpaper to the wooden stick and sand a little bit the surface of the masking tape and this is how you will see the, the this is how you will get this edge precisely and then to cut it through the entire masking tape layers use utility knife after you will cut it out take off all extras of the masking tape and be sure that you cut it through the entire layers of masking tape and then after you will have this clear edge of the insole you can take it off now to take it off from the shoe last use the edge of the knife to catch the edge of the masking tape and take it off from the shoe last bottom and before you will attach it to the cardboard spread it well on your cutting board attach it well don't pull in the toe to not enlarge this pattern of the insole just spread it how i'm showing right now along the width and i repeat it again don't pull just place it as it lays and place it first on your cutting board and after you will spread well all folds take it off and attach it on your cardboard it's very important because here you will not stretch it and you will not deform this pattern of your insoles and then attach it to the cardboard also here place it as it lays don't pull it don't stretch it that's why we attach it first on the, on our cutting board in the places where you see that you don't have curved and smooth line you can correct it okay so just mark new line working with pencil and draw beautiful curved line especially in the heel part and then you can cut it out following the edge of our masking tape the cardboard that i use here is duplex 180 grams it must be flexible and not too thick and not too thin cardboard so find some of the cardboards that you can work with in your local store and then after you will cut it out we should check this pattern we need to place it on the shoe last bottom in order to check the correctness of our pattern so just place it on the bottom of your shoe last 
and see that the edge of the pattern match matches the edge of the shoe last bottom okay that's it this is how you will make your pattern for the insoles and later you can use it to make insoles from different cardboards like texan and chunkboard or to make it from vegetable tan leather now if you have questions about any other components or a pattern for these components or material to work with to make these components comment below this video ask me questions and let me know what you have problem with thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out thank you and see you soon bye Oh, 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 oh,